Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting the operation has been cancelled due to restrictions in effect on this computer error in Microsoft Office Suite. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing you want to go do is, is left click on the start button. Type in regedit, it's R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back to registry editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now, before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of the registry. And in order to do that, it's very simple. Just with left click on the file tab up at the top left, left click on export. I would suggest for the file name, save it as the date in which you're making the backup. That's usually a pretty smart move. And export range, make sure you select it to all. Save it to a convenient location you'll be able to easily access, and then left click on save. And if you ever had to restore back your registry, you just would do file import and then just locate the file. So pretty straightforward of how to do that. So once you're done making the backup, you want to go ahead and expand the HK current users folder. So double click on that. Then you want to go expand the software folder. So either double click or again left click on the little arrow next to that to expand it as well. Now that you've done that, you want to go expand the classes folder. Same thing. First thing you want to do is look for the HTML folder. So it should say .html. You can also just click on any random folder and type .html and it should be able to direct you to it without having to search through this whole list. And you want to go ahead and on the right side once you've selected HTML, so it should be selected here. On the right side there should be something that says default. You want to double click on it. For value data, you want to set it to HTML. So HTML file, all one word. So again, HTML file. So again, HTML file. Left click on OK. So once you're done with that, you should be able to close out of the registry editor, restart your computer, and hopefully you should be good to go. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.